Welcome to a short video looking today at perimeter, area, volume and surface area. Okay, perimeter is all the way around the outside of a shape. So here for this rectangle it will just be this length plus this length, this length, this length. Here for this triangle it would be this length plus this length plus this length. Here for a circle the perimeter is also called the circumference and it's pi, which is 3.14, multiplied by the diameter. And diameter is all the way across the circle, going through the centre. So for a circle, the perimeter of the circumference is 3.14 multiplied by the diameter. For other shapes, it's just all the way around the outside, as we can see here. For this one, interestingly, if this is a right angle, you would need to use Pythagoras to work out this length here and then you would just add the three together. Units of perimeter are millimetres, centimetres, metres. There are no squares or cubes or anything. They're just lengths. Right, moving on now to area. Units of area are centimetres squared, millimetres squared, metres squared, etc. The squared, the little two, is telling us that it's two lengths that we always multiply together. For a rectangle, to find the area of a rectangle, I just do A times B. And the answer would be units squared. Here, for a triangle, this is like a rectangle cut in half. So it's A times B again, exactly the same as here, but half of that or divide the answer by 2. Okay? So triangle, it's A times B and half the answer. The area of the circle is pi again, which is 3.14, multiplied by the radius times the radius again. The radius is halfway it's from the centre to the outside of the circle. So to get the area inside the circle, pi times the radius times the radius again. Right, moving on now, <coughs> volume. Now the same as area showed us with the centimetre squared, the two, because it was two lengths multiplied, volume has centimetres cubed, metres cubed, millimetres cubed, etc. Showing us it's three lengths multiplied. Now, in a cuboid, all I'll do is just multiply all these three together. The way of thinking of this really is you'll find in this front area here, by doing A times B, then you're multiplying that front area by the length back. So A times B times L. Similarly, for this triangular prism, we would have A times B, divide the answer by 2, because this is a triangle, that gives us that front area, so a half AB, then multiplied again by the length L. These two are called prisms. They're prisms because they have a constant cross-sectional area. That area, I could chop that anywhere, this is probably easy to see, I could chop that anywhere down the same way here and I would always see that same front triangle. I could chop this anywhere down here and I would always see that front rectangle here. Okay, so these are prisms, and the volume of a prism is this front area multiplied by the length back. Front area multiplied by the length back. Right, so that's volume. Surface area, let's do surface area. We have to imagine that we're going to find the area of each surface of our prism. So as if we were painting all of them and finding the area of each side, adding them all together. The easiest way to do that, I'll come over here, is to do a net. A net is where you unfold the solid, so as if it was made of cardboard, say, and it's a nice flat shape that you would then fold back up to make the solid there. And all you do, draw the net, this is to find the surface area, draw the net of the solid, and then find the area of each individual section and add them together. 
It's very important to make sure you clearly label your net and keep comparing it with your solid to make sure you've got all the lengths labelled correctly. As I say, find the area of each section, add them all together, that gives you the surface area. So, to recap, we've looked now at perimeter, all the way around the outside of the shape, area, the space inside the shape, usually multiplying, or always multiplying, two lengths together. That's why it's a squared. Volume, which is the space inside the solid, and that is multiplying three lengths together, which is why you have units cubed. And surface area, which is the area of all the faces on a solid added together.